Skincare is the best care. Skincare is the best care. Hey, welcome back to Tip of Chat, a channel for me, myself, and I, and anyone who wants their skin to shine. We will be reviewing something that I've been dying to use. Can I get a drum roll, please? Today's product that we're using, the most magnificent thing in the world, something that will literally save your life and cure cancer is Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment and put on your notifications too. Uh -huh. So what we're reviewing today is the Beauty of Joshan Relief Sun Probiotics Plus Rice Sunscreen. Um, I remember seeing this on my Explore page on Instagram. I went ahead and went to the webpage and just decided to do a little bit of research. And I bet you're wondering, why would we want to purchase this? Well, for me, it's pretty simple. K-Beauty is something that is almost become a standard in the skincare community. Um, a lot of people seem to harken back to K-Beauty when it comes to their skincare regimens. So I decided to go ahead and spend my hard earned dollars um, to try a sunscreen. Mainly because sunscreen is actually really difficult for me to find. Um, it's of course being a dark skin guy. Well just being dark skin period doesn't matter if you're a guy, girl, they, them. Nothing. Uh, none of that matters. Just being dark skin period it's really hard to find good sunscreen um and add on top of that i have oily skin so it's even more difficult to find sunscreen that doesn't make me look like a greasy greasy ball of i don't know what a greasy coconut it's really hard to find sunscreens that don't make me look like a greasy coconut um and i decided let's just go ahead and just give it a chance now there are two things that drew me in when i decided to buy this product the first thing that drew me in was the use of rice in the sunscreen. As you may or may not know, rice has been a skincare essential for centuries. Before my grandmama and her grandmama and her grandmama and her grandmama and so on and so forth and furthermore. Within different cultures, there has been the use of like a lot of products. Like I feel like we've just realized that Vaseline and slugging was a thing to kind of sort of help to moisturize skin. And the same thing with slugging, I feel like the use of rice water and rice wine and things like that has just sort of come to the surface and been unearthed. In my mind, you know, I'm not a dermatologist, but I do have a degree in biology and hair and skin are directly similar. So basically, if it can work for hair, it can work for skin. Theoretically, I think. I'm hoping. We'll see. Not only does my personal experience seem to support that, but according to some research, applying rice wine topically can help increase the production of collagen. And collagen is really important if you're trying to stay away from fine lines and wrinkles, if that's, you know, one of your skin concerns. Furthermore, in a research article published in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science, Rice has some really great sun protectant qualities. Typically, these can be found in the flavonoids and carotenoids, which are obviously in rice. The other thing that made me really interested in this sunscreen is its mentions of the use of probiotics. Now, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold what? Hold up, hold what? Hold up. Hold up. Whenever you hear probiotics mentioned in skincare, please. Please, 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 please take it with a grain of salt, okay? There is not enough research that has been done yet on the use of probiotics when it comes to skincare. There is still a lot of things that have to be further looked into. There just hasn't been enough research that has been done to, you know, be able to back the claims that certain probiotics are better than the others or the probiotics that certain companies are using actually work for you because all you can end up doing is potentially damaging your skin and or spending lots and lots of money on skincare that boast probiotics that end up doing nothing for you but one point of research did state that ingesting probiotics like through yogurt or through supplements can potentially help to increase the benefits that you get throughout your body including La cara. Now, if you do happen to find a product that you really, really like, my 
like I did and or something that you really want to try I do suggest you looking at two looking for two main strains of, of bacteria one of them is bifidobacterium longum and the other one is lacto and the other is lactic bacilli lactic lactic acid lactic Lactic acid bacillus raminus. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Both of those have some research to support the fact that they may help support skincare. But again, more research still needs to be done. But enough nerd talk. Let's go ahead and let's get into this item. This is the box and the packaging. Um, pretty simple, pretty standard, nothing too special. Some of the notable ingredients that I did see is niacinamide, which is really great for people with oily skin. <laughs> um, and like I said, there is a mention of probiotics like lactobacillus, the one we talked about before, um, monascus, another bacillus, saccharomyces, aspergillus. There's also uh, glycerin in here, which is also really good to help keep skin moisturized. So after looking at all that, I just felt like, you know, why not? Pretty standard, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Um, here's my hand. And um, this is like sort of how big it is. And let's try it on, shall we? <laughs> okay, you guys, I am back from doing my top secret skincare routine. And the last thing that we did was moisturize. So typically, after you moisturize, the very last thing, the very, very, very last step in the skincare routine is sunscreen. <gasps> nice so and covered I think it said that for your face you have to do like two finger long lengths amount of um, sunscreen so that's what we're gonna do per recommendation actually first I'm gonna shake it up you know it's been sitting for a little bit you gotta you gotta okay see nothing let's get started two finger lengths full let us We'll see how this goes, because right now, <laughs> I look privileged. I look really privileged right now. Oh my gosh, let me go ahead and go apply for a mortgage. Oh my God, it's gonna get approved. <laughs> I'm gonna go rock a bank. <laughs> I'm gonna go speed on the highway. <laughs> Yeah, it's still giving very much privilege to them. Okay, I feel like it's pretty rubbed in. Um, I am sort of satisfied with what we were seeing. But let's see how, it took about two minutes, 16 seconds. It does take about like 15 to 20 minutes for sunscreen to set, so. I will be back in front of this camera in 15 minutes, and in 15 minutes we will see if you know how 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 big the difference is with the sunscreen. See you in 15. 15 minutes later. 15 minutes is up, and here are the results. Um, personally, I'm digging it. Um, I'm gonna also record something on my phone camera so that you guys can see it that way, just in case the glare from the actual ring light is sort of like. I don't know, tricking you guys' eye, but I'm really liking this. Like, I'm really liking this. I give this 10 stunning sunflowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 But I'm just gonna go on about my day. Um, sort of record it for you guys. It's not gonna be like a vlog, but I'm just gonna go out there, live my life come back in at the end of the day we'll see how my skin fares um, if I feel extra greasy or anything and we'll try and figure out whether or not it could be due to the sunscreen Hello you guys, I am back. It is 12.18 midnight here. Um, and this is what we're working with. Now I have been sweating a little bit. 
so it may look a little wimp wimp wimp, but I will say throughout the day, it did definitely hold up. I did not feel very greasy at all, and typically, especially when it gets hot and it's pretty humid and hot here, it is bad, but it wasn't bad. Like I said earlier, I am just astounded. Like this is probably gonna be my go-to every day, unless I end up hearing something bad about it, which I hope I don't, but still. But that's all for this product. Well, that is all for this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it down below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment as well. Tell me your favorite part about the video and just tell me maybe some of your favorite sunscreens or what you look for in a sunscreen. I don't know, any comment works. Even tell me I'm ugly, though I know I'm beautiful. <laughs> I really enjoyed filming this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Remember, roses are red, violets are blue. And the flowers are yellow to represent the beauty within you. Take care.